Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. This is my second video of the upgrades of my Wilderness Beluga. Since the last video I did a little change. I lengthen the wires. These are for the lights and now I have the chance to put the body beside the car without without the wires getting stretched. Or in this case, I will put it off. These cables or wires don't count. They are micro JST 1.25 millimeter cables. You can length them by soldering or something else. And uh, this is uh, in the section of tools you have in the garage. So I don't count them on the upgrades. As I said in my last video, I will upgrade this in two versions, a fun version or a performance version, or combined as a fun performance version. We come to it later. And in this video, I do the upgrades, which are for both versions. And uh, we start with the wheels and then go on with the light setup, which I thought about. I first wanted to do Duradrex Showdown wheels, which Mark from uh, ACU in the chat channel recommended to me, but they took around seven months to be delivered. So I stepped back, ordered some Injora rims, Injora tires, and some brass rings. These tires are rotated and it's kind of philosophy or religion how you put it on. For normal, this will be the direction if the car is going here, which means that the dirt is transported to the outside of the wheels. But for me, I use on the crawler because I want the dirt to get into it and that the tires will bite, I will put this the wrong way compared to a street car. I'll do one wheel in a time lapse and the other three off camera.
just for a short outlook for the next video and because I talked about it, I said I built the car up in two versions. Each version will be under 600 euros. The fun version would get a 35T motor from Injora and this ESS double. And the performance version gets this quick run Fusion SE motor. Both cars, the fun version, the performance version, stay under 600, but with a little bit more investing, and which I will build, is a 700 version with the sound module and the quick run motor. So I thank you for watching. If you got some questions, the comment section is yours. And as always, please like, share and subscribe. This will really help me out. See you soon on RC Birds.